Old Otterbein Church is the oldest church in Baltimore. It was already four years old when George Washington was elected first president. It's the cradle and mother church of the former United Brethren in Christ denomination. On this site, Lovely Lane Methodist Congregation was organized and is the only place remaining in Baltimore where the Reverend Francis Asbury preached. In 1772, Joseph Pilmore, a Wesley missionary, needed a place for his 40 followers to meet. The Reverend Benedict Swope, the first pastor, made his chapel available, and on June 22, 1772, what was to become the Methodist Episcopal Church was organized on this site. Two years later, Asbury laid the cornerstone of Lovely Lane Meeting House at what is now 206 East Redwood Street. Lovely Lane Church is the mother church of American Methodism. The Lovely Lane Society was organized on June 22, 1772, by Joseph Pilmore. They built a small meeting house and started to worship in it in 1774. It was in this little meeting house where the Methodist Episcopal Church in America was organized at the famous Christmas Conference of 1784. On Christmas Day, a man by the name of Francis Asbury was elected and ordained a deacon. On December 26th, he was elected and ordained an elder. And on December 27th, he was elected and consecrated a bishop, from layman to bishop in three days. Now today, Lovely Lane is a small congregation serving the city. Even though the congregation is committed to restoration of this landmark, they are not just thinking about this remarkable building. They operate the oldest soup kitchen in the city of Baltimore. And with the help of their friends in other churches and community stores, they feed about 1,000 people weekly. On June 22, 1772, Centennial Caroline Street United Methodist Church had its beginning as part of the Methodist Society called Strawberry Alley. The Strawberry Alley Chapel was the first Methodist meeting house in the territory then called Baltimore Town, now known as Baltimore City. During 1876, Centennial purchased ground at Caroline and Bank Streets for the erection of a new edifice. Then on November 24, 1877, the congregation marched into the new edifice. On July 22, 1940, the Federal Housing Authority purchased Centennial Methodist Church site, and the congregation subsequently purchased the present site, Monument Street Methodist Church. On September 7, 1941, the congregation assumed possession of the former Monument Street Methodist Church at Monument and Sterling Streets. Sharp Street Memorial Church, often referred to as Mother Church of African American Methodism, has been a leader in the struggle for spiritual and human dignity. This pioneering church has led the way for religious, educational, humanitarian, social, and political causes. Three Methodist congregations trace their roots to Sharp Street Memorial Church. The Centenary Biblical Institute now Morgan State University, began as a school for ministers in Sharp Street Church in 1867. The N.M. Carroll Institutional Care Facilities for the Aged were conceived and named for a former pastor. Mount Auburn Cemetery, 
was founded to provide a decent burial ground for the deceased. The community house, built in 1921, has been a site for social, recreational, and administrative activities. An archival center was dedicated and opened in 1987 to display the documents and showcase the history of the church. Mount Vernon Place United Methodist Church is an historic building located downtown. Built in 1872, it was one of the first Gothic structures in our denomination. Over the years, it has maintained a ministry to the poor and needy of the city. Presently, they have a carpenter's kitchen and carpenter's wellness center, meeting the needs of the less fortunate. The church has always been a sacred place for persons pursuing spiritual maturity through worship, study, and prayer. A recent addition is a labyrinth for meditative walking in prayer to assist in the spiritual journey. They continue in the tradition of John Wesley, meeting the needs of the times. Christ United Methodist Church of the Deaf is the oldest deaf congregation in the United Methodist Church. It was founded by a deaf man, Reverend Daniel Moylan, in 1895. It has had 14 locations in its history of 106 years. The church merged with the Watcote Mission for Black Deaf in 1957. In 1998, the deaf congregation formally merged with the Fulton Seamers United Methodist Church. This was an Evangelical United Brethren Church with a long history. The Deaf Church has many outreach ministries to deaf people, including food bank, mental hospital visitation, deaf prison Bible study, religious education classes at the deaf schools, deaf summer camps, deaf ministry workshops, and VIM trips to Africa.